Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video about the new printer bot all metal UBIS hot end. Um, I just gotta say, you know, compared to the uh, the old ceramic one, um, the only benefit that I've seen is that it, it hit um, the new one heats up a lot faster. Um, there may be some benefits for for ABS, but I, I don't print an ABS, so you know, if, if any of you guys do uh, and you've used the the new metal UBIS, um, I'd really appreciate if you would leave a post, uh, leave a comment, and um, let people know uh, what your experience has been like. Um, I will say, you know, I have a friend that he's ordered three of these new hot ends um, before they, you know, before he really got a chance to use them, and none of them work for him. So mine works for me, um, but none of them work for him, and he has three, so he's a little bit upset, and PrinterBot doesn't seem to be really giving him any positive feedback. Um, of how to resolve that situation, but um, just to make this in this video interesting, um, I, ha I haven't been printing for a while because I've had some major extrusion issues, and it started out with um, my extruder wouldn't push through the filament through the hot end, um, so I ended up having to turn the pot all the way up, and so then I put a fan on. You know, I've got this fan up here. Uh, at one point, I had like three fans up there. Um, you know, there's one here. I had uh, one on the side over here too, and then this one up here, um, just to try to cool off that that um, the extruder motor. So uh, I finally ruled that out because I got you know this thing would, would stay cool enough. Um, I got a little heat gun that I can shoot on there, and and it was it was doing just fine. So I got to the point where I was trying to figure out you know what could the problem be. You know, I was torching my tip, um, basically every time I'd use it I'd torch it first and, and just make sure this thing was 100% clean, push filament through by hand, make sure that you know it wasn't the extruder that was the problem, I mean the, the hot end that was the problem, and um, so through my research I found that if this tube gets too hot, um, that can cause uh, blockage. So I went and made a little tube uh, fan mount, um, and it worked really well. So even with all the problems that I was having, um, it was this tube that was overheating. But part of the reason why that tube was overheating is I had my my temperature cranked up to 220. Because if if I didn't have at least a 220, I just couldn't extrude. And I'll get to the core reason of why I was having problems here in a little bit. But um, you know, I, I printed off. Uh, I finally got one of these little fan mounts um, printed off and was able to print off the Mark II um, just based off of that uh, with that, that fan on there so that kind of resolved the problem for a while but then I reached out to a friend and um, they brought up that maybe it was the filament so uh, you know I don't know why I hadn't thought of that before I think it was because I was using printer bot filament and I was like you know printer bot filament isn't going to be causing problems like this but as it turns out you know I switched to some new filament and all of my problems went away so I was able to take um, a fan off the tube I was able to print at 190 uh, 195 Celsius and uh, at the time that I printed off the, the Mark II you know I was printing at speeds of, of like 30 millimeters a second and um, once I changed out the filament, I could crank it back up to like 100 millimeters a second, um, which is what I print at now, um, with you know great results. This uh, this head for the Mark II um, was printed off at um, 100 millimeters a second. Um, but the point is, um, if you leave your filament out, uh, you know I had heard this before, but if you leave your filament out, it'll go like it'll. Uh, get moisture, it'll, um, what, what I call it is stale, it goes stale. And uh, I wrote a post or an article about that on my website, um, 3dgrimoire.com. Uh, there's a link in the bottom of uh, the video information for that. Um, <coughs> but what I want to, you know, to wrap this up in context of the new, um, the new hot end, if, if you guys are doing fine with your ceramic hot end and the only reason why you want to get the new hot end is because you think there's going to be some kind of performance improvement um, 
I would just stick with with this for the, what the cost is. And you know, I'm sorry, um, Printerbot, <laughs> that that's my review, but um, uh, there's really no reason to upgrade. Um, so, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, sorry, this was kind of a short video, maybe a little bit boring, but um, if you liked it, you know, please subscribe. And uh, if you have any anything to say that contradicts what I'm saying or adds to it, um, please go ahead and leave a comment either in this video or on the website. So anyways, thanks for watching.